These are super simple digital voltmeters. They are cheap and easy to use, which makes them great for DIY projects. Let me show you how to use them. First of all, these come with either two or three wires. If you have the two wire model, you just connect the red wire to positive, black to ground or negative. That's it, you now have a voltage reading. And if you have the three wire version, the red and black wire power the voltmeter, while the yellow wire gets connected to the point where you want to measure. The two wire model is powered by whatever you have it connected to, which makes it the more simple device. But below a certain point, let's say 7 volts or so, the display starts to get dim and at 4 volts you can't really see anything on the display. The 3 wire voltmeter also has a minimum power supply voltage of about 5, 4.5 volts. If you have the one with red LEDs, you can get away with 3 volts on the power supply. In a circuit, this meter can measure voltages below 3 volts, while the one with 2 wires cannot. Both the 2 and the 3 wire models require a power supply of up to 30 to 40 volts. On the 2 wire model, of course, that's the maximum you can measure, but the 3 wire version can measure up to 100 volts. That's all DC, of course. On the back of the 3 wire version, we see a small potentiometer. This is used for calibration to make sure that its reading is accurate. We don't see anything like this on this 2 wire model, so let's test how accurate it is. This one appears to be off by about 0.2 volts, which is within 2%. At 30 volts we see similar results, it's off by about half a volt. One downside of these voltmeters is that the displays aren't very easy to read, especially in bright light. I think the red ones have the clearest displays. The green ones are ok, and the blue ones are the most difficult to read. They have displays with white and yellow LEDs as well, but I don't have these to show you. In conclusion, if you need a cheap and basic voltmeter for your project, these get the job done pretty well. I'll have shopping links in the video description if you want to check them out, and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.